program is brought to you by South Point Patia. If you're a, a motorcyclist, you, you like riding in the mountains, and the north is all mountains. You know, and there are so many loops and, 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 and little trips you can do. Uh, it's unlimited. If you haven't been to Mae Hong Song, you haven't ridden North Thailand. I think many guys think that. Well, I, I've all, always ridden motorbikes all my life. I started in Australia when I was 17. I've never owned a car. I've just always ridden motorbikes, so it's always been there. When I first came, I was just a, a backpacker. I was always going to go to India and never got there. Went back to Australia, come back, stayed on Koh Samui. I think I went to Koh Samui three times, uh, and then eventually made it to Bangkok and did the usual thing, and you fell in love, you know? And that was the end of going to India. By that stage I decided I wanted to live in Thailand and then we, we moved to Chiang Mai because I knew I didn't want to be in Bangkok. Once you're back in Chiang Mai, once you're in Chiang Mai then that was it, you, you're hooked on motorcycle riding. Anyone who rides a motorbike, it's the only place to be. Thirty years ago when I had first had my, my second hand bookshop with my with a wife and that and we, I had a name then for, for riding a motorbike everywhere. Travel riders and journalists would always, always come to see me first to learn about new attractions and that, new roads and places to go to up, up, update their guidebooks. You know, and the highlight was to come to Mayong Song and, and get your certificate to say you've been there and done that. You know, and I think it's, that's become a, like a holy grail for motorcyclists. You come to the Golden Triangle in North Thailand, but you have to come to Mayong Song. Manufacture of big bikes in Thailand here and the import of them in the last five, six, seven years, big bike touring here has, has really taken off. And there are hundreds of guys in season that are out there riding in big, big caravans. You get caravans, you know, Thai caravans going to Laos and China and Vietnam, 20, 30, 40 bikes. It's all, it's all good and they're all out riding around and travelling like that now. Well, Mae Hong Song has, has always been a, the destination to come. I've had several friends that, that love coming here. And a couple of those guys actually died. And um, we decided to do something to, for, in the memory of those guys. And we have a, a couple of plaques at, a, at the temple here. So every year we, we come and have a, a, a memorial ride to celebrate these guys. And these guys, the first couple of guys were actually mates in Phuket. They weren't even living in Chiang Mai but they, they enjoyed the GT Rider Forum, a website that gave them information to, to come, come to uh, North Thailand and ride their, motor, ride their motorbikes around. And that was their, their best rides they ever did, was coming to Mayong Song, they said. We carry a, a big banner we, we print out and actually take the guys with us and take them into the restaurant, into the pub, and just carry on as normal as if the guys are there and celebrate them. You know, they, they love to go motorbike riding and partying with us and, and we miss them and we'll never never forget those guys they're always they're, they're close to our heart all of them the great part of Mayong Song I think is just getting there and the people in Mayong Song they're very proud of their traditions and, and their culture here it's different to, to other places and they want to keep it like that which is good you know and that's what attracts people here in the first place the, the, the 
ethnic identity, their, their culture and their, their traditions. And it's always great to go out and, and meet different people in that. And, and Thai people, are, they're fantastic. The more poor they are, the more honest and sincere they are. You have the best times with those people. Nobody bothers you, they're always happy to see you, especially if you ride a motorbike. You know, you're at the same level, the same plane there, and you can actually talk to them as you're riding down the street and down the road, you know, and they'll, they'll chat to you if you get out of a car or a minibus. I never studied or learnt Thai, you know. I just picked it up as I went with my ex-wife. We only ever spoke English. She spoke very good English in the end. You know, and, and uh, I, I learned Thai by travelling up country by myself where, where no one spoke English, you know, 20, 30 years ago up country. And you're immersed in the language and then you, 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 you listen to it and you pick up words and then you, you remember those words and you can make phrases and then sentences and then you can, can talk, uh, you know, talk to people. Yeah, we had the, I had the bookshop and then once that was, uh, that was gone then I, I start, had to start again. Uh, and the idea to get information to people, then you, you had to have a, a website, you know, and DT Rider was just started as, as a means of, of, of getting information to people to promote motorcycle touring here and riding. Um, and then it just basically grew from that, there, was, there, was no, there were no websites like that at the time. Oh, I think most people now, they, they have to come with a, with a, with a GPS or, a, or some map on, on, their, on their smartphone as well. That's part of the fashion. And it's easier to, to sort of track where you're going and store stuff that way. But at the same time, you still really need a, a blow up hard copy map so you can make a plan of where you're going. No doubt, with 200, 250,000 visitors a month, you know, it's become influential. You know, it's very well known and people want to know about places where to go and that, uh, it's all there for them. I'm happy to cheer as many people to come and ride a motorbike here. I've had a, a good life here, I've enjoyed myself. I, I want to put something back and help, help the locals and, and try and cheer local communities and, and get people to stay in, in, in smaller towns and don't worry about staying in the big cities. Uh, and, and people have a good experience and the locals appreciate that and they know I go and meet people and they say, oh, we know people are coming from you now, David, you know. That's a very good feeling from that, but I'm happy to do that. Well, I think it's, uh, it's easy going there. There's no, you don't have trouble with police and stuff, no laws to worry about. You can enjoy yourself riding around and be relaxed and don't have to worry about anything. There, there are no, you're not going to get robbed or stitched up like that. And Thai people are so easy going and they'll joke and laugh with you. you Maybe you can't speak the language, but they'll, they'll still joke and laugh and have fun with you and, and talk to you. And you can mix in with them like that and, and you feel welcome. There's no need for people to be scared or worried about coming here. You know? Everyone rides a motorbike here. Mm. And you rock, rock up on a motorbike and they're, they're happy to talk to you. You're not some strange character, son. You're just one of them doing the same thing. You're watching Destination Thailand. Chart your course for all points. Course for all. Paddy is most exciting. Paddy is most index. Paddy is most in point. Has most in new heights. In new heights. Towers 30 stories over the soul after hilltop on cool after hill it on cool after hill of Pratun after hill world class after hill world class after hill world class after hill design class after hill that own class after hill books the own class after hill books the own class after hill thinks the own class after hill over in your club the hill and this is your club the hill vistas or club the hill vistas or club the great journey of their lives begins here a place where skills are developed and values are cherished where friendships are forged and responsibility is encouraged, where challenges are faced and talent blooms. Give your children the best education.
Regions International School, Bangkok, home of well-rounded leaders for the future. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Dom Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Dom Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Dom Tien, a new journey begins. You're watching Destination Thailand. Dawn at Jakarta headquarters in Chiang Mai with some of Thailand's rapidly growing motorcycling fraternity. We were arriving to take part in a classic journey, a two-day loop from Chiang Mai to Nan and back, considered to be one of the top ten road trips on the planet. Like the Harley Davidson, the Ducati has developed a cult following as it is without doubt one of the greatest stream machines in the world. There are about 400 Jakarta clubs worldwide with about 5,000 members in Thailand alone. I've been riding a Ducati for about a year now. I got the taste for high-speed adventure from my go-karting days. And while I've completed some challenging journeys including the famous Mei Hong Sun Loop I realize I've still got a lot to learn and I'm keen to absorb as much knowledge as I can from my fellow riders. Uh, now we, 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 we separate two groups. Yes, it means uh, group A and B. A is a, like an intermediate group, B a beginner. B beginner. I decided the B team suited me much better. The easy and chilled team. No speed, just safe. Even though um, the whole trip's been planned by Jakarta, it's great to have this uh, GPS so I can at least have a look and see at what I've done once I've come back because actually I can upload this into my computer and uh, enjoy the moments of my trip. Before enjoying those moments, however, I discovered there is a certain amount of preparation before actually hitting the road. I must admit that I was quite apprehensive being in any team. Would I be able to stay on formation at their speeds with 50 guys? Hmm. To ensure that everything runs smoothly and according to plan, the organisers have enlisted the aid of the highway police who will be working closely with the club's marshals to shift bothersome vehicles who hog the fast lane out of the way and clear the way through clogged up intersections. Ducati prides itself on its safety record. They have asked owners clubs to become road safety ambassadors with the aim of sharing the values of road safety which starts from the way you ride and your ability to control the bike in unexpected and dangerous situations. For 10 years now Ducati has organized the Ducati riding experience providing courses for riders at every level. The main reason is to teach participants how to maintain better control over their bikes in extreme conditions and how to avoid potentially dangerous situations which can crop up when you at least expect them. Uh -huh. The track riding and racing master courses are the best way to discover your own limitations and the incredible power of the Ducati superbikes in complete safety. Uh -huh. 
With the help of the police, we make the journey to Payao in record time. After a swoopy morning through the uh, beautiful mountains here, it's incredible to get here to Payao to see this lovely lake. It's well worth it. Riding big bikes is hard work both physically and mentally, and you can work up a hearty appetite, so the stop in Payao was greatly appreciated. Then, with both stomachs and fuel tanks full to the brim, we hit the road again. But even with our police protection, mishaps can still occur. So what's this? Our friend, what happened? A fellow rider has captured the aftermath of an accident on her mobile phone. Every time we go out for the trip, if someone had injured or, you know, fall over, it makes us worried. But um, luckily, that uh, the guy he he fall down, so he it, it was he was not so injured so much. So now he's okay. But his bike, I think he has to talk to insurance now. <laughs> Leaving our fallen comrade in the care of the ambulance attendants the team moves on. The incident has thrown our schedule out of kilter. The day is coming to an end and the light is beginning to fade. There is still a fair way to go before reaching Nam, but we make it without any further incidents and arrive in time for a triumphant group photo in our hotel's car park. So, you go, so, okay, kap. Nan is an ancient and deeply spiritual place and we rise early the next day to visit some of the many temples and record our memories of some of the sights and sounds of Nan and pray for the safe trip back to Chiang Mai. After such an intense day yesterday, it's incredible to come to Nan and just come to the temple and see the spirit side of Thai people. That's the beauty of coming to the north. And on a bike you come to see and you can see everything. The whole exercise took two months to plan and organize. Now the end is in sight. A moment of triumph and exhaustion as the great journey is about to come to an end. But it was it's been great experience. Um, I'm a little bit tired now, <laughs> so but uh, it's a good thing that Ducati Chiang Mai did it for us. Yeah, and um, they said earlier Ducati may not be the fastest bike in the world, but surely it's the sexiest one. You're watching Destination Thailand. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Dom Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Dom Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Jong Tien, a new journey begins. Nidor Kornik is one of the most experienced developers in Thailand. Stephen O'Dell from Soda is an award-winning architect. 
Colin Okashimo is Asia's modern landscape Zen master. This is the team behind Padia's exciting new project, South Point. Developed by Kingdom Property, South Point is financed by Kumtai Bank and has full EIA approval. Invest with the best and don't miss the point. You're watching Destination Thailand. Jakarta headquarters in Chiang Mai with some of Thailand's rapidly growing motorcycling fraternity. We were arriving to take part in a classic journey, a two-day loop from Chiang Mai to Nan and back, considered to be one of the top 10 road trips on the planet. Like the Harley Davidson, the Ducati has developed a cult following as it is without doubt one of the greatest dream machines in the world. There are about 400 Jakarta clubs worldwide, with about 5,000 members in Thailand alone. I've been riding a Jakarta for about a year now. I got the taste for high-speed adventure from my go-karting days. And while I've completed some challenging journeys, including the famous Mei Hong Sun Loop, I realize I've still got a lot to learn and I'm keen to absorb as much knowledge as I can from my fellow riders. Uh, now we, 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 we separate two groups. Yes, it means uh, group A and B. A is uh, like an intermediate group, B a beginner. B beginner. I decided the B team suited me much better. The easy and chilled team. No speed, just safe. Even though um, the whole trip's been planned by Jakarta, it's great to have this uh, GPS so I can at least have a look and see at what I've done once I've come back, because actually I can upload this into my computer and uh, enjoy the moments of my trip. Before enjoying those moments, however, I discovered there is a certain amount of preparation before actually hitting the road. I must admit that I was quite apprehensive being in any team. Would I be able to stay on formation at their speeds with 50 guys? Hmm. To ensure that everything runs smoothly and according to plan, the organisers have enlisted the aid of the highway police, who will be working closely with the club's marshals to shift bothersome vehicles who hog the fast lane out of the way and clear the way through clogged up intersections. Jakarta prides itself on its safety record. They have asked owners' clubs to become road safety ambassadors with the aim of sharing the values of road safety, which starts from the way you ride and your ability to control the bike in unexpected and dangerous situations. For 10 years now, Ducati has organized the Ducati riding experience, providing courses for riders at every level. The main reason is to teach participants how to maintain better control over their bikes in extreme conditions and how to avoid potentially dangerous situations which can crop up when you at least expect them. The track riding and racing master courses are the best way to discover your own limitations and the incredible power of the Ducati superbikes in complete safety. With 
the help of the police, we make the journey to Payao in record time. After a swoopy morning through the uh, beautiful mountains here, it's incredible to get here to Payao to see this lovely lake. It's well worth it. Riding big bikes is hard work both physically and mentally and you can work up a hearty appetite so the stop in Payao was greatly appreciated. Then with both stomachs and fuel tanks full to the brim we hit the road again. But even with our police protection mishaps can still occur. So what's this? Our friend, what happened? A fellow rider has captured the aftermath of an accident on her mobile phone. Every time we go out for the trip, if someone had injured or, you know, fall over, it makes us worried. But um, luckily that uh, the guy, he, he fall down, so he, 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 was, he was not so injured so much. So now it's okay. But his bike, I think, he has to talk to insurance now. <laughs> Leaving our fallen comrade in the care of the ambulance attendants, the team moves on. The incident has thrown our schedule out of kilter. The day is coming to an end and the light is beginning to fade. There is still a fair way to go before reaching Nam but we make it without any further incidents and arrive in time for a triumphant group photo in our hotel's car park. Nan is an ancient and deeply spiritual place and we rise early the next day to visit some of the many temples and record our memories of some of the sights and sounds of Nan and pray for the safe trip back to Chiang Mai. After such an intense day yesterday it's incredible to come to Nan and just come to the temple and see the spirit side of Thai people. That's the beauty of coming to the north and on a bike you come to see and you can see everything. The whole exercise took two months to plan and organize. Now the end is in sight, a moment of triumph and exhaustion as the great journey is about to come to an end. But it was... It's been a great experience. Um, I'm a little bit tired now, <laughs> so, but uh, it's a good thing that Ducati Chiang Mai did it for us. Yeah, and um, they said earlier, Ducati may not be the fastest bike in the world but surely it's the sexiest one Visit us on Facebook and tell us what you like. Or check out our website at www.destinationthailand.tv Our presenters have their hair cut, coloured and styled at Moga Salons. Now available at eight locations in Thailand. Our presenters use Philip B's organic skin and hair products. Available now at the Emporium, Bangkok. This program was brought to you by South Point Patia.